Today I'm speaking to Peter Capelli, who's a senior professor at the Warden Business School, the University of Pennsylvania. Good afternoon, Peter. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Nice to be here. Older workers, as we see the demographics in North America and Europe, this is certainly an issue we're wrestling with. What are some of the things you're thinking about in terms of how we manage and work with older workers? Well, uh, I, I think there are a few things that are quite interesting about this situation. Uh, one is, the, of course, the demographic change. It's not so much the baby boomers, a lot of attention given to baby boomers as an effect in the in demographics. It is life expectancy. So we're living about seven or eight years longer than our parents' generation in about 1960. And we're living um, healthier. So we're in much better shape and we're living longer. Uh, and that raises, obviously, some interesting challenges. One is if you thought of old as being um, affected with infirmities, infirmities that make it difficult for you to work, if you think of that definition of old, uh, the proportion of people in the population who are old is actually shrinking because uh, so many of us are living longer and healthier. So the total number of healthy years of your life is much bigger than it was in the past. The total number of typically sort of age-related and firm years is a smaller percentage of that now longer block. So Bismarck 65 is no longer the thing. Right. Bismarck set uh, the retirement age at 65 at about the point when life expectancy was in the 50s, I think. So that was sort of the outer edge of okay. what you could possibly expect. And now, you know, the, I think the odds are that if you and your spouse are both, both hit 65, is a 90% chance or 50% chance that one of you will live into your 90s. So life expectancy, you know, is, continues to go up. So the first issue is people are living a lot longer, and they have to work longer in their current economic situation in order to pay for a longer life. Uh, and they want to, too, because work is invigorating, work is a way of engaging people in society, especially in Western societies where we maybe pay more attention to, to work. So people want to work longer. Uh, they have to work longer, and there are many more of them. The problem is age discrimination is huge and endemic. Uh, age discrimination, by a lot of measures, is a bigger issue than it is for race or gender. Uh, it's perfectly okay for everybody to tell jokes and make fun of old people. <coughs> you never think about doing that for other groups. Uh, and the reason this matters so much is because older workers otherwise seem to represent exactly what employers want. Uh, on almost all measures of job performance, in fact, if you're curious, I'll tell you what the other one is, where they're not, but on every other measure of job performance, older workers do better. Uh, they perform better in terms of their jobs, their attendance is better, their interpersonal skills are better. We think that's becoming increasingly important. And they offer employers now sort of a just-in-time workforce, particularly those who hit normal, typical retirement ages, want to work someplace often a little different uh, for a relatively short period of time. They're not looking for retirement benefits. They're not looking to stay on for a long-term career. They want a sort of just-in-time job, and that's what employers want. So you'd think this was a match made in heaven. Better quality workers, ready to step in for just-in-time roles. But in fact, they can't get jobs. They can't get employed. They're discriminated against, especially in hiring. And the reason is because of younger supervisors. So the problem uh, with older workers, the problem they're facing is younger supervisors don't want to hire them because, frankly, they're afraid of them. Uh, they're afraid to hire older subordinates because they don't know how to manage them. Uh, how can I hire somebody who's more experienced than I am in this job and, and expect to manage them? So they don't know how to manage them, and as a result, they're afraid of it, and they won't do it. So that is the heart of quite a serious social problem that is only going to get worse as we go forward. So the kind of study that we did was to look at the context of the problem and think about how younger supervisors can actually effectively manage older workers and why it makes sense for employers to do it.